What is our place in the Milky Way? Ancient people used to say that our Earth is the center of the whole universe. Aristotle and Plotinus narrated the same thing in their writings. Aristotle said, Earth lies in the center of the universe, while the other celestial bodies are orbiting around it. Even today, people think the same, but is this true? Let's have a round through space in real time to get the answer to this question. The journey will start from our planet, and then we will go to the extreme boundaries of the universe. First Geocentric Model by Galileo In the early 1600s, the famous Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei was the first human to develop doubts about the Earth's geocentric model. He made a lot of telescopic observations and concluded that our Earth is not the central part of the universe, but it is the Sun. When he observed Jupiter, it was revealed that the planet was the rotation center for all its moons. So he concluded his research with the statement, the Sun is the central part of our solar system. Location of Earth and Solar System The solar system comprises stars, the Sun, eight planets, and minor celestial objects like comets and asteroids and many dwarf planets. If the Earth is not the center, it could be the closest to the Sun. But this was not the case, as the Earth is the third one. The nearest part to the Sun is Venus, then Mercury and Earth. Earth also revolves around the Sun, just like all the celestial bodies. And here it is approved that the Sun lies in the center, not the Earth. Earth takes around 365 days to travel around the Sun. And it lies at an average distance of 150 million kilometers, which is an astronomical unit in the solar system. Here a question arises, why are we talking about an average, but not the exact distance of the Earth from the Sun? The answer is Earth travels elliptically around the Sun. It could be the same distance if the path was circular. We know that in an elliptical way, aphelion exists. Aphelion is the farthest point from the center, and perihelion is the point that is very close to the center. If we want to define an astronomical unit in terms of light time, we can say that the Sun and Earth have an average distance of about 8 light minutes, which means light takes only 8 minutes to reach the surface of the Earth. If we see the light at a specific time, it means it is not the light produced at that particular time, but was dispatched from the Sun 8 minutes before. To bring you more in the context, if the Sun sets at 7 p.m., we would have the last spark at 7.08 p.m. If you are traveling in Star Wars Millennium Falcon, you would require eight minutes to reach the Earth. Dimensions of the Solar System To get more grip on all the dimensions of the Solar System, let's move forward and see the Sun's diameter. It is probably 14 centimeters, and Pluto lies 700 meters away, as be seen on a soccer field. The Moon lies nearest to the Earth, and it takes only three days to travel to the Moon. Even the first Moon landing mission, Apollo 11, took the same time. Earth and the Moon are 400,000 kilometers apart. But if you use Star Trek Enterprise, you will take only two seconds with maximum curvature to reach the Moon. Asteroids Let's look at other bodies in the solar system. Between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, at a distance of 2 to 3 AU, lies the central belt of asteroids. Asteroids are rocky bodies that spread hundreds to thousands of kilometers and cannot be seen with the naked eye. Telescopes are used to see them. Imagine that you are at Pluto and trying to look at the Earth. It would be only a pale blue dot. The same dot was captured by the Voyager 1 NASA probe in 1990 while leaving the second last planet, Neptune. Earth is surrounded by the vast dark universe where starlight illuminate burning. Interstellar Space Now move into interstellar space. To travel to the closest star, we have to travel for about four light years. And we all know that a light year is the distance covered by light in a vacuum, approximately 10,000 billion kilometers. And if we use the Millennium Falcon, it will take four years to reach Proxima Centauri. Here we have to see the center of the Milky Way if the Sun is the center of the solar system. The Milky Way is a galaxy in which gravity holds many stars together. Galaxies mostly have the shape of flattened disks, and the centers are usually bright. 
They have spiral arms and are highly dense with stars. Spherical holes are present at the cores and extend to the galactic planet. Vastness of galaxies. Parsec, equal to 326 light years, is used to measure the dimensions of these galaxies. So we can say that Milky Way has a diameter of 30,000 parsecs, which equals 10 million light years. If we again see it per the Millennium Falcon, it will take 10 million light years to travel from one side of the galaxy to the other. Even if you want to communicate with your friend on the other side of the galaxy, still 10 million years will be required to deliver one message, and the reply will take another 10 million years to reach you. The galactic halo is 30 kiloparsec in diameter and has stars double the sun's age. Sun is the one star of billions of stars located in the galaxy. Galaxy is derived from the Greek word galaxia, which means the way of milk. They used the word galaxia for the milk sprinkled from their goddess Hera when she fed Hercules. If you spend a summer night at any mountainside, you will notice the milky white bands crossing the sky. It is the Milky Way, and the Sun resides in one of those spiral arms of this Milky Way. These galaxies appear as a streak because only galactic plane edges are visible from the Earth. When we talk about the center of galaxies, it is not the Sun, as it lies 26,000 light years away from the center. And that's pretty good, as the center also has a super massive black hole. Sagittarius, equal to 4.3 million times the Sun's mass, lies here and does not allow even light to escape. A black hole is present in the direction of the constellation of Sagittarius. Light passing through the black hole can be interacted with by internal methods, like the radiations emitted by the accretion disk present around the black hole that moves in a spiral way. This accretion disk has to fall into the black hole at any time, but before falling there, it gains a temperature up to millions of degrees. This high temperature causes electromagnetic waves like X-rays and gamma rays. It was found by studying stars close to the black hole that those stars have no galactic center to move around. The research group working under the supervision of Andrea Gaze and Reinhard Genzel conclude that no celestial body lies in the center of the galaxy. The Milky Way is like other local galaxies and has a dimension of 10 million light years or 3.1 megaparsecs. And one megaparsec is equal to 1 million parsecs. And that one parsec is made up of 36 light years. A local group has 70 small sized galaxies. In the center of mass of those galaxies is the Milky Way and galaxy Andromeda M31. This local group, along with the Eridanus Cluster, Fornax Cluster and Virgo Cluster, constitute a local supercluster with a diameter of 110 million light years. Our universe has around 200 billion galaxies, each with 200 billion stars. What number could be explored with satellites, space probes and telescopes? It is still very less. So, we have seen that the Earth is not the center of the galaxy and universe. It is just a tiny planet orbiting around in its peripheral zone. That's all for today. Stay connected for more interesting information.